Hi, Ruby. Hi. Hi. Um, Ruby, I was wondering if you could tell us about a time when you've worked with a really challenging, really horrible person, um, <laughs> or, you've, or indeed group of people, and how you've overcome it in a way that's made you feel so much stronger on the other side. Well, um, well who do I work with? It, besides this guy, who's my agent. Uh -huh. Besides this guy. <laughs> um, Well, in the past, let's say I was interviewing somebody like Donald Trump, and I, and I learned a lot about myself. And when I, when I do these um, workshops, work, they're, they're for a couple hours, with businesses, I use some of my footage from when I used to interview people. Because in the beginning, I, I was not passive aggressive, just aggressive. Because everybody has a kind of persona when they get nervous that you're not aware of. You know, if you tell, a, well, you know, you have friends who suddenly people go, they turn into an animal. Because we're all, you know, when you do go into that heightened state, physiological things happen, so you're not in your right mind. Just trust me on that one. So when I interviewed people, I thought I was being really charming, and I could never understand why they didn't give me their phone number. And then when I saw myself, because I edit my own sh shows, control freak, and um, I'd see that I looked like an animal about to kill a rodent. And I could see them looking terrified because I really wanted not, I wanted this job to not screw up, you know, and that was the look in my eye. I couldn't give a, I couldn't care what they were saying. It was just like, a, it was like an animal. So I started to, you know, learn to back off and then let them come at me and then sort of foreplay, use languages, you know, to get that rapport thing. I mean, I literally had to teach myself step by step so that I could let them feel like they were coming at me and then I knew how to make them feel good so I could turn the 10 minute interview into three days. So um, that's how I, I learned but boy before that when I was interviewing like somebody like Donald Trump there was a f it was usually men. I thought what happened to that? He tried to throw me off his plane. He got really angry but when I looked at the tape everything I said to him was an insult without me knowing it. I was smiling. I didn't know that and with Madonna which was a travesty Everything I said was an insult. I was goading her, and people say, what a bitch. Well, these days, I think I could have switched it. Unless somebody's got Asperger's, right, where you really have, but even with them, you just go, okay, it's not me, it's them. Just, you know, make the sale, get what you want, and get out. But everybody can be changed, because they, they have a side that's more human. And I was turning on their aggressive side. I don't think I'll do that anymore. I'm not saying people won't, there'll still be people who don't like me. I can't control that. But I won't be the cause of it. So that's changed.